found Lake Tainter and it was in May and it was one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. And so we bought the house here in May, moved in, and it was our, our dream home. This was retirement. This was going to be the place where the family would come and, and join us. My brother flew up from Mississippi in June, and his children and grandchildren came from Iowa. And we sent them down to the boat. The kids were going to do some skiing and some swimming, and they quickly came back up the steps from the lake and said, there's green stuff floating in that water and the kids don't want to swim in it. I was also having massive respiratory problems and I kept asking questions and people said, oh, it's just algae, there's no problem with the lake, you're, you're not getting sick from the lake. We've been swimming in the lake since we were eight years old. So I sent a water sample from my lake shore to an out-of-state lab. And uh, three or four days later, I got a call from the director of the lab and he stated that what I had was not simple algae, it was cyanobacteria. And that the primary form of cyanobacteria in my water sample was microcystis. And by the way, he said, the, the graduate student who was running the test on our water sample did the test open table instead of tent method, and it ended up that night in the emergency room with severe respiratory distress. I haven't been able to go out into my own backyard for months because it was like anaphylactic shock. I literally would stop breathing. There are so many people on this lake that I've talked to. There's one couple that were in the emergency room for two years solid. Their doctor said that they had to leave the house or, or die. And, and they did. They, they're gone now from here. Um, one of the guys on the Lake Association was doing um, water movement testing on Wolski Bay, on my bay here on Tainter. He'd been down in the green water for many days on end. His eyelids were, were blood red, um, his eyes were, were really bloodshot, and he sounded like he had the croup. I mean, he, he could barely talk, he was coughing so, so strongly. And I'm scared. I'm scared. I know that the longer I stay here, the shorter my life's going to be. I mean, it just seems to be a given at this point. And I hate that because I love this area. I love the people here. Uh, again, I thought I had found heaven. This, this was what I wanted. <laughs>